Welcome back, everybody. That's right. Yep. Thank you. You're still tuned into the lowdown. Now, my next guest is here to help you when it comes to money, because when it comes to money, your dollars need to make sense too. He is the CEO and founder of ERCBookkeeping.com. Y'all, give it up for Mike Gibson. Yes. There he is, man. My man. What's going man. on? Mm -hmm. There he What's is. Up, All right. All right. All What's right. up, Mike? Hey. Come on over, bro. How we doing today? Good. good. All right. Good to see you. Come on. Yeah. They love him. They love him. <laughs> There you go, man. Please have a seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I've been looking forward to this conversation, man. We've been talking for a couple of weeks now, going back and forth, and you told me something that I immediately wanted to jump on. Okay. You said, James, I know how to get people out there in our community free money. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. It's a, um, it's a crazy time right now, and... Um, there's a lot of uh, small businesses out there that mm -hmm. could really help. I mean, could really use the help. Absolutely. And um, there are a lot of resources out there. And ERCBookkeeping.com, um, as well as a number of other um, companies out there, have put together a number of programs to help people find resources for these legal tax loopholes. And I love that because a lot of people who want to do things uh, financially just don't know how. Yeah. And you guys fill in the blanks for people. Now, before we get started in that, man, um, you've been working in Central Florida for how long? About 20 years now. Um, I came up here for school, uh, went to the beautiful, my beautiful alma mater, University of Central Florida. So I'm UCF, nice. okay, yeah. Florida in the house. Yeah, we're going to clap for that. Yes, yes, nice. yes, nice. yes, all right. Yep. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to do politics, and I was back and forth with business, and I just got ingrained in the finance. Um, once I left the University of Central Florida, I mm -hmm. started a small tax office, and from there, I started working in the community between philanthropy and uh, financials, and that's where we, you know, discovered, you know, the industry of taxes and taxation, small taxes and business taxes, and now tax savings and credit. See, I love that because I think a lot of times when it comes to small businesses, um, no matter what community you may be in, but we're talking about ours, um, we just don't know some of the tax breaks that we can get. We just don't know uh, some of the uh, grants that we can apply for right. and that can truly help us keep that business thriving. Mm -hmm. um, so. When you started ERC, what are some of the, th the things you started noticing that you could do for people right away? Well, um, fun fact, ERC uh, stands for Employee Retention Credit. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, it's, it's its own industry now because it's just designed around employee retention as a, as a, as a, as a whole. And we talk in employee retention about how to keep your employees Correct. working at your establishment. So ERC um, has been around for many years, but it was reenacted due to COVID. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, it was a program that was designed to um, go alongside with PPP mm -hmm. uh, to help small businesses uh, benefit uh, for keeping employees uh, during the pandemic. Now, what's going on is more and more people are becoming more familiar with the program because other programs have finished. And now more and more people are, are getting more interested with understanding about the importance of having payroll. Mm -hmm. So that's our goal is to educate, inform, and give people the resources so that they can make the sound decisions so that they can go ahead and get these legal loopholes. And people just don't know about them, man. So you yep. guys fill that in for people. Now, tell me, how did you get involved in doing this, though? Well, I mean, I was, I, I was more so, I was more so, um, I was more so burnt out from mm -hmm. COVID. I, I wanted something new, but I also knew what I specialized in. Mm -hmm. And I recognized that there is a, a complete lane of uh, solutions for individuals out here that really can benefit um, society. So we decided to research some more. Uh, yeah. We looked into it. Mm -hmm. And from there, we understood that there was a clear difference between this type of bookkeeping and um, bookkeeping in general, and we focused primarily on this. And since then, it's been a game changer. So give me an example, like people watching right now who may want to benefit from what you guys do. What's one of the things you guys can teach people that they just don't know? One of the things that are just commonly um, people m uh, make a mistake with that you can help them out tax-wise? Great question. So misclassifications. Okay. So a lot of people that believe that they did not qualify for employee retention credit, mm -hmm. ERC, 
um, they actually do. And uh, one of the biggest misconceptions were if I had a 1099 employee mm -hmm. that I couldn't apply for uh, the ERC, which is a myth. So the truth of the matter is... For people who don't realize, 1099 means someone that could be a vendor of yours. Someone correct. who hired for a specific uh, job. A contractor. Contractor, yeah. So a lot of times um, people will have companies and then they will employ individuals um, for tax purposes because they don't want to pay the taxes. And they will classify them as a um, as a worker, but yeah. not an employee. Got it. Give them a 1099. But... When you look back and you see how you classify this person based off of the duties and the tasks, you recognize, well, they clock in, you pay them on a certain time frame, they wear your shirt. Yeah. This person is an employee. And there's a lot of individuals out here that actually misclassified their employees. And there's processes that you can go backwards and amend these and still be able to go and receive savings up to 26000 maybe even $28,000 per employee so these are used better. wait a minute let's say that one more time let's slow down mm -hmm. we can get up to 26 to 28 thousand dollars in a credit when yeah. it comes to listing your employees the right way so that's going back correct and that's going back retroactively so you can claim that all the way from 2020 wow but then there's other credits now that are available that will go all the way to 2028 so this doesn't stop so you know it starts with this but then from there um, there's other programs that we can help people with if they have minorities, people that they're hiring that are women, um, if they're veterans, disabled, or if they're uh, convicted felons, they can get certain credits like this that are current. So if, man, just to say this, man, there's so much information you're giving me. Thank you so much. So just to put this in perspective for people, there's so much information out there about what you can do and what um, tax breaks you can receive in your company. You just have to get the right people to inform you and educate you and teach you so you can benefit from it. So that's where ERCBookkeeping.com comes into play. You got to, yeah, I understand, man. That's our goal. That's our goal. So I'm going to start listing my kids as employees, bro. <laughs> you, you can. You can. I, I, I would just, um, so we work with. Um, a brokerage firm that deals with uh, bookkeepers across the country um, as well as in the UK. And I want people to definitely look you guys up. So will you please share with them right now? You're giving them great information. Share with them your social media and website so they can get in touch with you guys, man. So you can reach us at ercbookkeeping.com. If you have uh, any questions about getting in um, with our membership, our subscriptions, mm -hmm. it's all there. If you want to become a bookkeeper, we have all the information there as well any investor relations as well, ERCBookkeeping.com on Facebook as well, ERC Bookkeeping. I love it, man. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Mike. Great information, by the way, man. On behalf of myself, James John, my wonderful guest, Mike Gibson, and as always, tight Mike Randolph. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all tomorrow. so much. Yeah. Mike, they love us. They are prepaid. They, all right, nice. There you go. Yeah. I will pay you back. Sure. Never, but all thank right. you.